I do use the Ocean Outlooks quite a lot because this is where we get the data of what's coming towards us. So the Ocean Outlook will tell us in advance whether we're expecting a heating event. It contains um, sea surface temperature outlook, sea level outlook. It also contains chlorophyll mapping for the last month and also for information on a daily basis. We targeted the fisheries department, tourism, the marine consultants, the ocean-related stakeholders to be able to give them a bit of uh, guidance and uh, information on the likely chances of uh, coral bleaching event. So the idea of what we're doing here is long-term coral reef monitoring so that we can see what affects coral reefs, what hurts coral reefs and what the hopes are for coral reefs in the future. Using the coral bleaching alert information that is on the bulletin, it helps them to be able to verify the information that they find on the ground. So it's very important that we can integrate all of this weather data in with what we're seeing in the water. The Ocean Outlook helps to prompt me to get my network moving and say, look, we might be having a bleaching event coming, let's all go out and look at our coral reefs now before it happens so that we can find out then what the extent of that bleaching event might end up being. These satellite images are very important, but they don't tell us what the sea temperature is like underneath the water. For that, we need temperature recorders that we can put in the water. And again, we have a network of these that we put down on the reef, because coral reefs don't change very quickly. You need 10, 20 years of data before you start to see patterns. So to reflect those patterns into the weather, I need the older bulletins. My temperature loggers stay under the water sometimes for up to five years before I can get the data. But the Fiji Met is putting out their reports every month and that means that I can go back and I can see what happened that year. And I can relate if we've had a coral bleaching, if we've had a drop in coral cover, I can often relate it to what I'm seeing on Fiji Met. Online uh, Ocean Portal is an uh, open access online tool. It's almost like a one-stop shop for ocean-related information. We gather those information from this online tool before we put it out to the public. And I think what looks nice about this portal is it's a bringing together of data from different projects, and I see that as a very positive thing. So it looks user-friendly. It looks like something I will be using in the future now I know about it. It's interesting how people can actually apply this data to actually manage some of the pressures that are on the reef and how we can help to improve the corals in Fiji. It's not an automatic thing because you look at the data, you say, okay, that's what's happening, but then what can we do? So when we have a coral bleaching, this is the time to really observe your tambu areas, to restrict your fishing. We can make marine protected areas so that the animals are in proper balance, so that they can create the kind of environment for new corals to grow.